Okay, so you mentioned Crisis earlier, and I know that that was a really good experience for you. Unfortunately, the show has been canceled yes. since you did it, but what did you take away from that, most of all? I took away the, something really important that I wish I could have done more, which is I went to a place as an actor that I, I had never tapped into before, personally. Like, I'm sure, you know, maybe performance-wise people saw something, but I was working in a place that I'd never worked in before, and I really liked it, and I wanted to work on it more. I wanted to be to be able to go to that place more. Um, it, it built my confidence up about myself as a, you know, I hate to say primetime actor. It has nothing to do with that. It's about just as an actor getting better mm -hmm. and not falling, being, and then not, and then not using your tricks. You know, we all have them. Every actor has their own stuff. You know, our box of tricks. And I didn't want to use my, I wanted to do something completely different, and, mm -hmm. and I didn't know if it was going to be there. I didn't know if it was going to happen. And Fred Keller was an amazing director, and he would just whisper in my ear, and he'd say this, or you know, little things, and I'm, so, thank God I was able to, to, to do it. So that's what I, read, I took away from it, is, is uh, I built my confidence, which I really needed. I really needed a confidence boost. I had not worked yeah. in a while. And I didn't know what I was doing with my career, if I was ever going to have a career again. And um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know. So it helped to re remind me of that I, I, this is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's, what I, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's what I'm, I'm good at doing that. I want to be better. Um, but that's really what it did. That was the biggest thing it did for me was built my confidence. Oh, it was great. Yeah. And people were so nice. And they were so good to me. And I miss that. Again, it's the camaraderie. Yeah. You know, it's a right. it, it makes all the difference, you know, with, if you get along with the people that you're working with. And, and you're a guest star. I'm going to move you because I'm going into my, I'm losing my battery. Okay. Um, I'm going to get a little tour. This, just, see, there's the dining room. Me. All, all, the, all the stuff for my kids' school. Um, oh, wow. And you that notice brings back memories. they're not there doing any work. Um, yeah. <laughs> you don't know where they are right now. Um, hold on. Let me put the light on. So... Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna look like, but um, and there's the teddy bear, a little teddy Aww. bear. Yeah. So that's my story. Yeah. Let me, let me plug you in. Okay. Now my kids have been very quiet, which either means one of two things. They're in trouble. <laughs> if they're in trouble, there's no, there'd be some yelling. But no, no, <laughs> maybe my mom has taken them somewhere. Maybe my mom took them out to dinner or something. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's too quiet. Anyway. Yeah, it is quiet. Um, okay, so your music. You've recorded yes. several CDs. Any plans to do any more of that in the uh, near future? Yes, I do. I, I you know, I, I brought this up before that, um, you know, once my, my, once my dad passed, I really haven't had the interest of singing because mm -hmm. that was something we really shared together. Right. And she, it was, uh, it was Cheryl Crow. I think it was Cheryl Crow. Nope, it wasn't Cheryl Crow. It was um, um, uh, she was just on 60 Minutes on 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 Sunday morning. Um, she sang in the, in the arms of the, the angel. What's her name? Sarah McLaughlin. Sarah McLaughlin, yeah. Sarah McLaughlin was on, and and she was talking about that her father had passed, and that she really had no desire to sing or write, mm -hmm. and had no inspiration to do any of those things. And eventually, it took her a few years before she mm -hmm. finally was inspired to write and do that. And I I'm I don't know if I'm there yet because I think I have a and I think I have a whole album in me as far as writing about what my what's gone on in my life since since my dad was sick and passed and like what that was that process was. But I, I, I don't know and then it's like anything else, until you you're ready you don't do it. Until wow. it's right. Until you feel like it's you need to get it out somehow. Wow. Then you write and you sit down and just write and start and I that's what I want it to be and I think it'll be the best record I do because it'll be my own and it'll be whatever I want it to be and, mm -hmm. and it will be from my experiences and compared to what I've before I mean mm -hmm. what I did the last time it's this is like I've had so much I've had a lot more uh, life experience that has been difficult which I think from difficulties you 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 write really cathartic songs and you write really heartfelt things and mm -hmm. in my uh, 
I don't know. I don't know, but I'm definitely planning on doing it at some point when when the yeah. cow leaves me. When is yeah? When it's rot, it's not something that you could force, and it's not something yeah. you want to force. Exactly. So. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I would love to. I would love to get that voice back again, yeah. because uh, it helps you heal. At the same time, it's but you don't want to go there because it's hard, mm -hmm. it's too emotional and too re too too new. Uh, but I, I definitely Sarah McLaughlin was definitely like I watched her. I was nodding, going yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I'm anywhere near Sarah McLaughlin. Believe me, I have I have this much talent compared to Sarah McLaughlin. I don't. Aww. No. No, 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 she's amazing. She's an amazing writer, and she's an amazing. That's she. That's her job. She's an artist. You know, she's a singer and artist. Uh, that's what she does. Mm -hmm. I'm just some girl that likes to sing and write silly songs, but hopefully not silly. Hopefully something, something uh, that will, whatever it is. I think when you write your own music, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks because it's from your heart. Right. If you don't like it, then that's fine. They don't have and to like. Well, and you know, it's, if it's from your heart, then someone somewhere will identify with it. I mean, right. that's a given. Some way. Right. And I think the thing about soap operas is that when you when you when you act from truth, mm -hmm. and you know, you, you you come from a real place, then people identify with you. And I've had people come up to me and be crying. Like one woman was crying, and, and she was an older woman, and she was I was at the diner, and she was holding my hand, and she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do without you on the show. And it was like so, yeah. again, who the, who the hell am I? You know, I'm, I'm just a girl in the, in the diner having an, egg, an omelet, but yet whatever I did touched somebody. Mm -hmm. and Liz Hubbard and I talk about this all the time. We're like, sometimes you feel so small. You feel so mm -hmm. small in this world. And... I always tell this to Elizabeth. I'm like, Liz, you've touched so many people, and you've entertained millions of people wow. over decades. You have, you, you, yes, we're actors, but but we've served a purpose. That's all you want to right. do in life is serve a purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And, and you know, this is that's what our soap purpose is. Right, soap operas. You're you're in people's homes five days a week for right. however many years you stay on the show, and yeah, so. Definitely has an impact somewhere. Yes, absolutely. Which is really makes you feel good. Cause you're kind of when you're on the set, you don't really know, you don't feel it. You don't, you don't until you go out and see people and they and they right. come to you and talk to you. Then you really, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are you still um, involved in Showbiz Boot Camp? I'm not. You know, I haven't done much of that. I've just kind of been so busy. Um, I'm, I'm, I have. A few clients that have been working as actors, which has been really great, that have come through the school that I have, and 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 have now working. One did a pilot for HBO, an actress, and and so I have a couple of kids that I work with specifically. But I'm really trying to amp up my. I work for Saint Jude Children's Hospital. I've been on the professional advisory board since 2005, and I go down to Memphis every year and and work with the hospital. And I'm trying to like bring that more in the forefront of my life. I feel like I feel like I can help more with Saint Jude and do more. Um, I, I, to help, you know, bring, bring, just to do whatever I can. Um, so you try to balance everything, you know, you try to do, and you, and when you're not working as an actor most of the time, you try to figure out, well, what am I supposed to do with my energy while I'm not, the kids are in school, like, so I'm trying to figure all that out. Is it, is it, what is it? And St. Jude always comes up to the front with me mm -hmm. because of my, my involvement since I was a kid with the hospital. So I'm, yeah. You know, we're all trying to figure it out, and then I have a, a junior in high school, I have a sixth grader, and I have a third grader. Yeah. I take a lot of time. I don't know where they are right now. Apparently, they're gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> i out in the street. <laughs> um, I'm totally kidding, but uh, maybe not. Uh, they don't get along really well, so I got to want when they're quiet. I'm wondering, like, what... Do you get worried? I'm not really worried. It's nice and quiet, but I don't know where <laughs> they have gone. Um... <laughs> Well, hopefully they didn't that. kill each other. So yeah, they're fine. They don't. They just did. Eh, nah, I don't think so. I hope they're all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> my husband's out. He's having dinner with his friend. My mom's. My mom lives with us, and she has her own apartment outside, her own little, you know, escapee pad. So maybe she's out right. there, with them, maybe making them ch ch cookies. I don't know. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> they're fine.